Those names are canon, as far as we know. So then Liam Afton founded Fazbear Entertainment. Fazbear Entertainment. Fazbear Entertainment with his partner and fellow CEO. form the books, but the actual events of the books do not have any bearing on the games. Yeah. Okay. So, in the books, and I will be using some of them, some of the bits of the books as um, information that informs the lore of the games. In the books, William is, he is the face of Fazbear Entertainment, which means he is the mascot of the corporation, the business. He used to be a very jolly man, a very jolly man, and 
he was he seen as very kind and lovely and the perfect mascot for the brand. William Afton usually represents Spring Bonnie and Spring Bonnie was the precursor to Bonnie the Bunny, the purple bunny that everyone knows. Spring Bonnie was yellow and he played a banjo instead of a guitar. So there's a little bit of background on William Afton. His motives are unclear but there are lots of theories as to why he does what he does. So there's a very whistle stop tour of what William is like. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about Henry Emily. Henry Emily was also a founder of Fredbear Entertainment. And he represents Fredbear, who of course is the precursor. is also yellow and he's known to the fans as Golden Freddy but at the time that I'm discussing now at the time of Fred Bear's Family Diner which was the first ever restaurant founded by William and Henry he was just known as Fred Bear Fred Bear Fred Bear in the game files in FNAF 1 he is actually called Yellow Freddy. Yellow Freddy. Which is where the name Golden Freddy comes from. Henry Emily was the genius. He was usually the brains behind the animatronics and he is said in the books to have been the mechanic, um, the engineer and the designer. It's insinuated in the games that William Afton did create his own animatronics but a lot of the time tampered with the original animatronics made by Henry 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 has one child her name is Charlotte Charlotte Emily however she is known to her father friends and fandom as Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. And she is his only child in the games. And where her mother is, is unknown. Okay. So now you've got a bit of background on Henry as well. Now let's talk a little bit about Michael. Michael Afton is the eldest son of William Afton and he is mistaken as the purple guy purple guy, purple guy but he is not the purple guy Michael Afton is the protagonist of most of the games there is even an argument that he is the protagonist of all of the games except Ultimate Custom Knight and uses false names in order to sneak in find his father. He wants to find his father and put an end to all of the things that happen throughout the games. Michael has a very tragic history. A very tragic history, which I will be going into a little bit more later. But all you need to know about him to start off with is that He has a lot of guilt from when he was a teenager. Okay, that's all you need to know for now because I will tell you more about Michael later. I don't want to overwhelm you with information, especially because it's very difficult to keep up with the FNAF law. Okay, I'll tell you a little bit now about the three supporting characters. So these characters are important. They're important to the law and 
to the main characters but they're not main characters themselves so first of all we have Elizabeth Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Lizzie, 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 Lizzie Elizabeth, Elizabeth Elizabeth is important because of a character that she represents later on in the series in the series It's important to remember about Lizzie that it is insinuated that she is the closest child to William after, but that is not confirmed. <coughs> Another important character is the crying child, the child I mentioned earlier, who doesn't have a name. He's important because he leads to the closure of Fred Bear's family diner. Which is the first ever restaurant. And Charlie, Charlotte, Emily is important because she too represents a character later on in the game, which I will explain in further detail. So, Fred Bear's Family Diner was the first ever restaurant from First Bear Entertainment. It's theorized that it might have been that William Afton might have been influenced by Fred Bear's singing show in the 1940s, which is where he got the name Fred Bear. Fred Bear's family diner was a bit different to Freddy Fazbear's pizza. The biggest difference was that there were only two animatronics. There was nobody else. No Chica. No Foxy. Just Fred Bear and the Spring. Another difference is that instead of just using animatronics, the company used something called a spring lock design. Spring locks are locks inside the suit that will go off and malfunction if they become too loose. They also go off if they get wet, which is important to remember. But I will come back. So there were a lot of accidents at Fred Bear's family diner because the spring lock suits often failed. They would not pass many health and safety checks. Okay, 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 okay. There's not too much known about Fred Bear's family diner. All we know is the founders, the animatronics, and the spring lock failure. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is technically one of the first in the timeline. And in the game we play as a tearful child, frightened of animatronics, and we see cutscenes of the crying child running through the pizzeria, frightened and being chased and tormented by his older brother, a child in a foxy mask. This foxy child was Michael Afton, and the crying child is his little brother. The crying child is called the crying child because of all the crying he does. Frepper's family diner is closed down for good when the bite of 87 happens. Here we are with the bite of 87. I mean, the bite of 83, it's not the bite of 87. As a cruel prank, Michael Afton unfortunately picks the crying child up at his own birthday party, takes him towards Fred Bear, the animatronic who is not a suit, and throws him into Fred Bear's mouth. Now because the child cries because he's so afraid, the spring suit gets wet. My cat also really likes Five Nights at Freddy's, as you can see. This is Wilbur. Wilbur, Wilbur, Wilbur. This is Wilbur. Um, excuse me, sir. Do 
you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? Fortunately, because the animatronic gets wet, it malfunctions and the jaws snap down over the crying child's head, crushing him. And so, Michael Afton has killed his brother. He doesn't die straight away. In fact, because of different parts of Five Nights at Freddy's 4, we know that he made it to hospital. After the death, child whose frontal lobe is destroyed. Michael Afton feels a lot of guilt. Guilt. And that guilt follows him for the rest of his life. Okay. After the death of the crying child, Fred Bear's family diner is shut down for good. For good. For good. After the death of the crying child, William Afton is pretty angry. Now it's unknown why he does what he does. Some people think that he kills the next... He, he starts to kill because of the death of the crying child. Because of the death of the crying child. But this would insinuate that he feels any semblance of guilt. Which he does not. Emily was Emery's only daughter, as I said, and she was only about three years old when she died. Emery became quite suspicious of William. of William. Perhaps he was afraid of what had happened after the bite of 83. Perhaps he thought that maybe the animatronic hadn't just malfunctioned. Maybe it wasn't an accident. We don't know why he suspected something was wrong. But we do know that his worries led to the creation of the security puppet. The security puppet was an animatronic whose sole purpose was to protect Charlie Emily. It was programmed to recognize her as the child with the green bracelet. However, somehow, somehow, William Afton found out about the security puppet. During a birthday party that Charlie was attending, she was locked outside in the rain. The security puppet was looking for the child with the green bracelet, but could not find them. This is revealed in the security puppet minigame in Five Nights at Freddy's, end of the minigame, the security puppet turns to the window and sees a child with a green bracelet locked outside. The security puppet watches as a man in a purple car pulls up to the curb, gets out, and kills the child. The security puppet is so distraught and distressed because of its programming to protect this one child, that it follows the body. The body is dumped in the in. I nearly said the hallway. The body is left in the alleyway, where the security puppet finds the child. We don't really know how this happens, but the puppet merges with the child's soul to keep the child. own idea as an animatronic of a life. And so, Charlie's soul is trapped in the animatronic marionette. Now, at some point after this, we're not sure when, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is opened. The death of Charlie is the beginning of the breakdown of the relationship between William and Henry. suspects that William is behind his daughter's disappearance. Perhaps William even admits it. Either way, it is the breakdown of their relationship as business partners. During
during this time. 
wherein Withered Chica confirms I was the first I have seen everything In the books, Susie haunts her own home and is visited frequently by Chica She does not understand what has happened Again in the books, William Afton says They don't remember The dead do forget Meaning the children do not remember who has killed them Possibly the next child to die was Gabriel Alongside Jeremy Gabriel was possibly killed at his own birthday party And possesses Freddy Fazbear He was stuffed into the suit of Freddy Fazbear Just like Chica and Susie At his birthday party Jeremy may have attended He may have also been lured into the safe room By the man dressed as the yellow rabbit And killed This is not confirmed But we do know That they were both lured By the spring pony And taken to their death Fritz possesses Foxy the pirate He may have been One of the last He's known affectionately in the fandom as Fritz Not Smith, as there is a night guard called Fritz. Fritz was allegedly also lured with a dog story, despite not having a dog. But this is not confirmed. I will reiterate that. It is not confirmed, and this is a fan theory based on book shenanigans. There's not much known about Gabriel, Jeremy, or Fritz, as they don't have mini games explaining their deaths the same way that Susie does. Cassidy is known as the one you should not have killed, and is referred to as this in Ultimate Custom Night. Almost all of the animatronics refer to Cassidy as I have seen him, the one you should not have killed. Referring to the player being William Afton He's referred to by the other animatronics in the games with he, him pronouns Despite this, fans believe Cassidy is a girl with black hair This is a theory and is based on book shenanigans Cassidy is the most important of the five children as they are a vengeful spirit they possess Fred Bear or Golden Freddy along with the crying child Cassidy is also the lead ghost child presumably and leads to William Afton's death as revealed in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Cassidy scares William Afton, along with the other animatronics, the other child spirits, and William Afton steps back, gets into the spring trap suit, or the spring body suit, and is unfortunately killed because water gets into the suit and he dies. A horrible death. Cassidy keeps William Afton in a state of undeath. Not dead, but not alive either. So that William doesn't just get to die and move on. He is forced to stay, just like the children are forced to stay. And relive the horror. After the death of the children, Freddy Fazbear's pizza is closed down. The bodies are eventually found. At some point after the death of the children, a new restaurant, Circus Babies Pizza World, is created. This is created by only William Afton, not Henry Emily. And the main animatronic is called Circus Baby. It has a circus 
name Circus Baby Speeds World is made behind Henry Emily's back, as far as we know. And it may have been begun because William Afton wanted to test Remnant. In the books, William Afton is experimenting on Remnant and Agony, two ideas that sustain life after death. Agony is more of a feeling that continues after death and isn't necessarily a spirit. However, Remnant keeps the animatronics alive with the ghost spirit. It's unknown why William Afton was doing this, but the leading theory At some point during Circus Baby's Pizza World, five more children go missing, presumably killed by William Afton. But there is nothing known about the children, and no further information can be found in the games. Around this time, another restaurant is made called Junior's. But we don't know who made this, what it is, and whether it's even linked to First Baron. During the opening of Circus Baby's Pizza World, it is revealed that William Afton deliberately programmed the animatronics to attack when in the room was only one child. This is so that they could kill the child and take their remnant so that he could experiment some more. During this time, he takes his daughter, Elizabeth Afton, to Circus Baby's Pizza World. He warns her not to play with Circus Baby, but Elizabeth really likes Circus Baby, especially since she was modelled after her. Elizabeth ignores her father and approaches Circus Baby. There are lots of children in their room, but as Circus Baby recounts, they all leave one by one. When it's just Elizabeth, Circus Baby's stomach opens and an ice cream scooper comes out. It snatches Elizabeth, drags her in, and crushes her inside the animatronic. Elizabeth is immediately killed. Her spirit continues to possess Circus Baby. It is unknown whether this happens automatically like the five missing children from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, or whether she possesses it because of William experimenting and using her death to try and bring her back, using his research. After the death of Elizabeth, a new night guard is hired to look after the place. This is where sister location comes into the law. Michael Afton, otherwise known as Mike Schmidt, and known jokingly in this game as X Benedict, is the night guard chosen for the sister location, Circus Baby's Pizza World. It is unknown whether Circus Baby's Pizza World is still open at this time, but it likely isn't. Mike goes sister location to work. It is unknown whether he is looking for Elizabeth or whether he is looking for his father. Either way, he finds Elizabeth in Circus Baby. Circus Baby wants to escape. And so, she manipulates Mike and lures him into the scooping room where he is scooped and killed by Enid. Enid is a mixture of all of the animatronics and infused with the spirit or remnant of Elizabeth Afton. 
all the lore. <laughs> well, that is a whistle stop door of all of the lore of the first six games. I guess technically seven. I love Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Some of my these timelines and leaflets about the kids. I really enjoyed it and I hope that you did too. Thank you for letting me ramble about one of my favorite things in the world. I have so many more ideas for Five Nights at Freddy's ASMR. Let me know if you'd like to see them and if not, sorry. That is all the time I have today. I've been filming for